Well, here we are again uh, with the uh, 86 GMC uh, engine replacement. This truck went with, uh, we went with from a 4.3 to this uh, 350. As you can see, the radiator is really small. Uh, that's for the 4.3. And we had to get different mounts. Uh, I got the mount brackets and those uh, cups there from a 77C10. Otherwise, the 4.3 ones would not have fit. But uh, so 4.3 is actually still back here. And these are some of the other parts that I just got for it. Here's the 4.3 that came out of it. It's actually a good running motor. Well, not a good running motor now, but it was a running motor. And it's complete. I'll probably be listing this up for sale real soon. And I also have that uh, 10 bolt uh, posi there. It needs to get worked on, but uh, it's there. This is what came out of uh, that truck there. And just got a new radiator right here. Got the fan shroud, got a bunch of uh, brackets and stuff that need to go in it. Um, that right there, coolant, co uh, coolant can. But the truck runs really, really good. I mean, it starts up, it fires up. Let's do a cold start. This is, you can see it's not, it's not warm or anything like that it's cold it's about 10 30 in the morning right now so and it's been really cold over here some uh, extra parts that i have here but let's fire it up there we go the starter is kind of scratchy i need to probably put a a shim on it but this radiator has got to go I already started taking the water out of it and uh, put the new radiator on, put the coolant bottle on it. Everything should be okay. Let's get to work. Here's a fan shroud from the 4.3, that piece, this piece, the radiator, of course, and this is what I'm going to put on it. This is the lower portion, the top portion, and of course, new radiator and uh, got the correct coolant bottle there some other brackets from lmc here brackets that hold the radiator fan shroud in place so should be done here real soon I got these new uh, rubber uh, insulators. They go on the bottom base and the radiator sets on top of these. These go on the bottom right there on this edge, one on each side. So let's put those on. Well, here it is. We're done with it. I got the fan shroud mounted, put coolant in it already. I uh, I don't like this cap, but that's what I did. I had to, I don't know if you could see it. I cut the hose, uh, it's too dark, but I cut the line and I put a hose on it, but it runs good. It's ready to go. I'm just, well, not ready. I gotta get the valve covers. I didn't get those. He wants to get a nice chrome alternator and nice chrome bracket, so Whatever it needs, we'll get it done. Uh, but I have to say that with the new radiator, fan shroud, I mean, it looks like it was never replaced. It looks like factory, you know, nothing, 
nothing out of the ordinary the only thing is this scap right here for the uh fan shroud i mean again this was for a, a three row and that's what i ordered and that's what came in i did specify it was a four row but i guess these needed to be a little bit longer but we'll go with that we'll just put a shim here a spacer and put a screw in there that would be fine all right thank you for watching this video this is an 86 c10 and uh, actually not a c10 it's a gmc it was a long bed so they made it a short bed uh, and he's gonna get some uh, other wheels for it uh, some like 20 by 10s and like 20 by 9s or whatever I, I don't know what he's getting but it's a really nice little truck it runs a lot better it's going to be a lot more desirable he is going to go with uh with a different uh aftermarket ac system uh real soon i mean there's a lot more work that needs to be done to it but for what it is it's really good thanks again for watching i really appreciate you and have a good safe rest of the week